Hello everyone people, this is the real mass of Kemet, goddess of justice and truth. Hope your day is good so far. And today I'm going to talk about some things that have been happening in Africa and outside Africa. And it has come to my attention that Africa is the beautiful woman each and every these hungry predators want. And they are not meant good to her and her people because they have evil intention towards her. They don't mean good to her and they don't mean good to her people. And this is very sad because we are humans who are here despite our skin color which most of you have we are 100 percent human beings we have feelings we have everything and most of all african people are the most loving human beings in the entire planet and i'm not biased when i'm saying this to other human beings i know you you two have those you have those feelings and emotions but african people are the most peaceful people because if you come to us we are the people who are most we never want to fight with anybody unless we are provoked and so today the the attention is going to russia we are Vladimir but putin invited 40 leaders into this meeting dubbed Russia African Summit to discuss or offer some business opportunities and it's now clear that we can see what he was offering to African people or the leaders because they are the one who went to uh, to represent us there they did not even seek our our permission because we are the people are the people the people are the one who have the power to say what they want but they never consulted the people they just jumped into their planes and added to Russia they were pampered with good hospitality and everything and voila 18 countries are signing deals of having nuclear power plants in africa very sad day indeed to me very disheartening to see such things that 40 people who are representing our continent, which has over, let me say, billions of people. Forty heads can, can decide to just decide that they are signing papers of having nuclear power plants in our land, where we have so many problems that are affecting the African people. We have so many problems that are going on in our land. We have so many problems that are eating our land. And yet you can go and sign those documents without our consent or asking what we want. Because to us, we don't mean anything. We are just figures. We are slaves. And this has to stop. This has to end immediately. Because we cannot go on doing like that. Each and every day, you are failing the people of Africa. You are failing our land. You are failing our mother land each and every day. Left and night, you are selling our mother land. bringing her into address debt. I don't know when we are going to pay all this. It's because 
black people are good for slaves. Their only thing is they can do for the other people, the elites, is to work for them. And this is very sad. This is very inhumane. And this is killing our hearts. Of course, I can see our brothers and sisters, they are crying, they are crying. They don't know what to do. They are stuck there with their feeble hearts and feeble feet. They are just there wondering why, why is this happening to them? Why our African readers? And like I said, we are dealing with crows because a hundred percent human cannot be going and doing such things to other humans. Humans with empathy cannot be doing such a thing. This must be crows or they have implanted their um, gadgets on these readers. They are kind of controlling them because they cannot say no. And we need to deal with these crones. If you know you are crone. Just know how you are going to deal with that head of yours. And whatever the implants that are in your body, you better stop. Or you better have them removed because we cannot go on like this. Let me say that we haven't exhausted uh, renewable, renewable energies like uh, solar, wheat, geothermal power, which is plenty in Africa. And I don't know why we are going for things that we don't know where we have peace. Look at a man from Muranga whose name is John Magiro. He's a Kenyan high school river. Was able to build a power plant from scratch. He just sold 300 rabbits. And was, was able to connect an entire village of more than 300 people. with electricity by just harnessing power from a river. And he was able to do this single-heartedly, all by his, himself. No brains from outside. He just used his common sense. And remember, he's a form for school river. So we have many people who have this innovation, but it's because this government wants to remain, this government puppet wants to remain on top, they just want to suppress people each and every time, they just want people, African people to remain slaves. That's why they cannot even have, they cannot just go within and look for these youths who have, who have this ability and innovation to offer to our African people. This is very sad. So like I said, we need to review and let us concentrate more on sustainable energy, which are environmental friendly and are low. low okay, they, um, they don't have high maintenance. They are also low in terms of cost. So this is what our people need because our people have had a rough time for a very long time and most of them are poor. Most of them have reached to their maximum. They don't feel like they can do or deliver anything else apart from Maybe having that that life, that manageable life of maybe having a food on their table. 
and also we need real people who are more oriented in working with with African people, people with the love of our continent and her people. We need you. If you know you are one of them, rise up, wake up. Don't fear because of what you can, they can do to you. Because fear is what they have been feeding us. And it's the high time we cease from this fear because it's not going to take to take us anywhere we will lose our continents and also we will lose our children and also we will lose ourselves if you don't wake up and start acting start speaking from wherever you are even if you don't have that perfect english english is a language of our colonizers and we struggle so much to talk, to use it or speak it. But whatever you are going to do, whatever you are, you are going to offer, or whatever you are going to speak, we will appreciate. So it's the high time people learn it, and those who are not learned wake up and start speaking for Mother Africa. Start speaking for yourself. We are Mother Africa. We are, we are her people. And remember, Vladimir Putin said that Africa is, is a graveyard. And that is a very big insult to our mother. Is that is like insulting all our women. calling our mother at grave rat. and this is the time you are rushing Vladimir Putin you are rushing to come and build your power plants here we don't need them build them in Russia because we can see the game you are playing with your other counterparts and you are putting the African people in between Deal with that. Deal with your counterpart and build those whatever you are building in Russia. You have your own power plants there. And I think there is some, I don't know whether it's in Russia, I don't know. There is a rig which, is, which has contaminated, I don't know, the, the ice, I don't know, something like that. So... Like I said, we cannot allow a technology which we don't know how it works, how it's done, the disadvantages and advantages in case of emergency, if, of emergency if there was a meltdown, which procedure or measures should we take to evacuate our people whenever there is meltdown because these things do have those meltdowns and remember each and everything that is man-made has to fail in one way or the other that is why i'm saying the maintenance and the maintenance cost we don't know it we don't know who is going to be subjected in this recurring maintenance cost who is going to run, who is going to benefit from it? Is it Russia or the countries where they are planning to build these power plants? Who is going to benefit more? And then we should also take in consideration, is it environmental friendly? Is it toxic to our water because most of the power plants are built where there is water? And let me say by what Fukushima is going on, Fukushima Daiichi, they haven't 
been able to resolve the problems with the power plants after it was hit, it was hit by a tsunami. It is still leaking in the ocean, the Pacific Ocean. Like I said in my previous video, we cannot have such things that are falling our water or contaminating our water. And remember, we are 75 percent water. We are water, and water is the most important thing in us human beings. So just imagine 18 power plants, and all of them, all of them fail at once. They contaminate our water. Which option would we be left with? Where will we, will you go? The same people, are we going to the same people who are just coming here, who have been raping our motherland, who have been destroying us for a very long time? Are we going to the same people to help us? And you know they don't give up. Damned about us. They don't care about us. And sorry if I use, today I'm use that language. <laughs> it's because I'm mad. It's because it's unbelievable to see such readers, our readers who we, like I said, we have faith in you. But you are always going out there and failing us. Come back to your senses. Another thing about this um, nuclear power plants is they do generate nuclear waste. And we know these people have been coming and burying their nuclear waste here. From their own nuclear power plants, they have been, because they don't know how to go about or or how to use the nuclear waste, tons of, and tons of nuclear waste they are generating from their land. They have been coming here, negotiating with our readers. Our readers who never care about us. And they accept this nuclear waste to be buried in our land. We won't accept this nuclear to be built in our land. Vladimir Putin, forget about it. Forget about coming and building those nuclear power plants in our land. Because it won't happen. So, like I said, we don't know even how we are going to manage the nuclear waste that is generated from the, these nuclear power plants. And also, another thing is, other countries are phasing out new, or closing the nuclear power plants like Belgium, Germany, Japan, Switzerland, after reviewing what happened in Fukushima. And for us, we are running to this, a monster or a beast. This will never happen in our land. This won't be built in Africa. And my message goes to China or anybody who is intending to come and build this in our land. It won't happen. Something that is contaminating or destroying our water, it won't be constructed in our land, not even in our land. Onwards today, all those nuclear power plants all over the continent, all over the world, you should start preparing or coming out with a with a new option of using 
to generate electricity, more sustainable, renewable energies for your people or for your land. Because from today onwards, we are abolishing the use of nuclear power plants or building of power plants in our water. So anything that is harming our water, from today onwards, no. We refuse it and abolish it. So to it, my message goes out to those who are still using. You better start preparing as there would be no more of these kinds of energy in in us and also okay from there from what I discovered because there is a tug of war that is going on with these elite countries they are just want to showcase who is better who is much mightier and i can see putin is playing games with other counterparts like united states of america the uk france this is the card game they are playing but they are i remember i said that they are playing with african people and this has to stop we are humans so there is that um, thing of nuclear weapons and nuclear power plants that goes hard in hard and I would like to warn these countries any country that has nuclear weapons you should know where you are going to take these weapons because we would be using these weapons from today onwards no more making of nuclear weapons we know how nuclear weapons has done to people in past like Hiroshima and Nagasaki and these people hasn't even got their justice and this, the aftermath of the Hiroshima and Nagasaki bomb, nuclear bomb that was detonated there. Even today, up to today, we can still see the effects that it has the people. People there, they try to give birth to people with no ribs, with no legs. And it is very sad. You can see for all that time how these things are not meant to be used against human beings. Even if there is a war of confrontation that is going on in between the two countries or, or countries that are involved in this mess of conflict. These weapons should not be used in humans. And from today onwards, like I said, we also, we also abolish the use of nuclear weapons on humans. Because the most people who are getting affected is the women and children. Those are the people who are who are left in the village they cannot run or go anywhere so they are stuck 
And this is the kind of weapon you are using on those innocent people that even don't know what war is. And you people, you... Okay. Sawa, sawa. Haya. Like I said that this... The use of nuclear weapons from today onwards, no using of nuclear weapons. And you better stop using this or testing them in the ocean also. Because these people are what they are doing, they are going in the bottom, in the bottom of the ocean and they are detonating. And this is what is making the water to become saline. And remember this is the sea salt we are, we are, we are using is also coming from the ocean. So it's like we are using a byproduct of this, of this um, nuclear, nuclear material. And another thing is that Putin is, is making all this a show because there is a rivalry that is going on with his counterparts. Those that I have named there, the UK, the United States. And you can't put the African people in between. So my message is very clear today. No more power plants in our RAD. No more power plants that are going to be built in earth and those that are still working you should come up with a good way to offer all the energy, no more renewable and sustainable energy to offer to your people because they should be closed. And the, also the nuclear weapons, which are both of, both of um, these nuclear weapons and nuclear power plants do use one thing in, com in common, which is plutonium-239 and uranium-235. And people should not come with saying that nuclear bombs are more dangerous over nuclear power plants, whatever, they use the same components. So they are all the same, working in the same way, but at different angles. So, people take care or take good care of yourself and this goes to my African leaders stop selling our rag stop rushing into things you haven't or you don't know about them consult with your people talk to your people you should be uniting and weighing on which is the good thing for the African people. And like I said, we need to go, our direction should be going to more sustainable and clean energy, which comes from the nature. Nature is the best.